Not everyone is a good candidate for LASIK, and some people are better suited to have a procedure known as PRK. Now, this can be due to their unique eye anatomy, or it can be due to their profession. So what is PRK? Well, PRK is the predecessor to LASIK. So before LASIK came out, everyone had PRK if they wanted vision correction. Think of PRK as sort of flapless LASIK. We're doing the correction or the reshaping of the cornea directly onto the cornea without a LASIK flap. And because there's no LASIK flap to lay back down over the cornea that was treated, the recovery time with PRK tends to be a little bit longer than that of LASIK. And the speed to getting sharp clarity of vision, that also takes a little bit longer. So with PRK, we're essentially intentionally causing a scratch. What I tell patients is I gently exfoliate off the top layer of the cornea. That's the skin. That's the top layer. It's known as the epithelium. What then takes place is the eczema laser, the same laser that does LASIK, reshapes that cornea after the epithelium has been removed, and then I apply a little bit of a substance to help try to prevent any haze formation after surgery. A special contact lens known as a bandage contact lens then gets placed on the surface of the eye, and that contact lens stays in place for one whole week. And during that week-long period, that epithelium, that top layer of skin, it's regenerating, it's healing, and those edges are then meeting. And once those edges meet and the cornea has fully healed, then there's no need for the contact lens, and we take that out at the one-week mark. And then what I tell patients is over the next four to six weeks or so, every week that goes by, as the remodeling of that epithelium continues to take place, the vision becomes sharper and sharper and sharper. So the end result with PRK is essentially the same as that of LASIK. It's just the road to get there is much longer.